What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Spire Town, where today we're going to be reacting to more Godzilla analog horror. Make sure you guys do like and subscribe, and every single channel that I show will be in the description. So our first video is from the Kaiju Files, which we have shown on the channel before. And this one is called Underwater Encounter 1983, Godzilla Found Footage Analog Horror. So let's get right into it. Okay. I've been to many countries and explored several species in different areas. It's very loud. That it's very loud. This this, this reminded me of Godzilla uh, vs. King Ghidorah from 1991, especially like the submarine and the underwater encounter. This is kind of getting scary. That classic Godzilla roar. Oh, that looks sick. Five hundred feet tall. That's like the tallest Godzilla next to Godzilla Earth. This is, I, don't, I don't like the static sound of this. It's very loud. It's very extremely loud. We called it the Beast Gojira. I like the atmosphere. I, the atmosphere is very nice. I just don't like the static sounds. Global threat. That's why this video even didn't exist. This guy's gonna die because the government's after him. Oh, that was very good. I just wish they would showed more guns a little more, but on to the next video. So our next video comes from Jacob Animation. Again, we he was in the previous video, but this one is called the Godzilla Rampage: The Invasion of Godzilla Remake. This one's. Pretty long, so this will take up the rest of the video. Let's get into it. Okay, nice atmosphere already. This guy's. Oh! This guy's very creative. We saw this in the previous video. In the last video. Welcome to Monster Discovery. We are an organization that searches for and That's researches fish. unique creatures around the world, even monsters. This organization UFOs. has been built since 1984, and we have managed to discover and research tens of thousands of species of rare creatures and strange creatures around That's the weird. world. It's like a rhino, like a crystal rhino. On October 20, 1993. Precisely in the North Atlantic Ocean, we managed to make our biggest and most mysterious discovery. In the depths of the North Atlantic Ocean, we find creature that shaped like dinosaur with spines shaped like leaves on its backs, which are numerous. This guy, this, to be this guy's glowing. animation's really good. Its skin has the texture of crocodile skin covered in. Its teeth are sharp and it has long claws. The creature is estimated to be almost 328 feet long. Our team succeeded in taking meters, some photos of this creature. When we started to take a peek of it, it starts to move and avoid our spotlight. However, strangely, we found dozens of canisters of radioactive waste discarded this on the exactly seabed, like which appeared Zola. to have been damaged by large bites. We speculate that it's likely that these creatures ate the radioactive waste. So far, this is our best discovery. A cruise ship carrying 1142 people sank on November 3rd yesterday. Oh, oh, that's there are no that's the, November 3rd is the release the of the first Godzilla sank. movie. It's Godzilla Day. Maybe According a reference. Police information of 1142 passengers. They only managed to find 831 bodies. However, one passenger was found on the top deck of the ship safe and unharmed. 
The passenger was still in a state of shock and did not want to say a word. She was rescued and taken to safety. The teams are still searching for the bodies of the passengers and finding out the cause of this incident. Dude, that would be so scary to experience. Residents around Rockaway Beach I would have permanent the trauma from seeing Godzilla. Sank, they heard strange sounds from the sea. One of the local residents managed to record the sound and captured the mysterious figure who was caught that night. That's, that's loud. Damn. The time has come. What did you see on the cruise ship? This is an interview. When we entered the lower cabin of the ship, the ship appeared to be melting. No, not because there was a fire at all. There was no sign of fire other than in the upper cabin. When we checked all the rooms in the cabin, everyone inside melted together. That's, that, that's disgusting. Each other and the objects around them. I don't know how that happened. Uh, the, the radiation melted people together. That is that actually disgusting. The meteor had penetrated the upper body of the ship. I think the Shin Godzilla you can really do anything because of like the mutations, and it's really creative. Shin Godzilla you can really do anything with because it's really creative, especially with like you can evolve to anything. So it's really creative to use Shin Godzilla. Part attached to the scratch, it was like a big, thick black thorn that was bleeding. What did you see, Ashley? On that occasion, I was at the bottom of the ship's edge leaving my friends who had gone out for dinner. But what I remember, a few minutes before the incident, people were cheering names of things like... I don't know. Not long after that, the ship felt hit by something and people started screaming. Things in the ship started to fall on me. I was buried in my... Unable to get out of the room and... That was, was loud. Happening. But I remember... Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm just really invested. Atomic breath. The moment I saw that light from the window, my eyes felt like they were going to explode. The atmosphere in the room became so hot. Because of all the radiation. I, like I, was going to I bet you these people have radiation poisoning now. And, and I fainted. I don't know what that light is. But the light was so hot that the entire ship felt like it was going to melt. Even the air felt poisonous when that light appeared. Listen, how do we go from Godzilla to, oh, to a piano? Dude, I, dude, that roar is haunting. That's a nice Godzilla design. This guy is really good. At Looks like a lot like Shin Godzilla mixed with some Heisei in him. It's a very nice design, I really like that. This animation is really well done. I want to learn how to do this. Dude, I would... I would be so scared to see that out my window. I wake up in the morning and like, oh, there's the Godzilla out my window. You'll see that every morning. Where is this? Is this in New York City? I think. I don't think it said where it was. Unless I was like, oh. A large creature suddenly came from the North Atlantic Ocean and attacked New York. Oh, it's New York. Creature has pushed its way through Brooklyn quickly. I've been there. I've been to New York. Manhattan. It was fun. And we can see earlier that military troops are getting ready to attack this creature. I don't think I, I don't think that's gonna do anything. It's a very good roar. It's a very haunt it's very haunting. Is that a 
dorsal fin. So this is exactly like Shin Godzilla. Oh, that is a sick power. Oh, those are sick. Oh, I thought I was gonna stay like, like they're jagged. He can launch source of from his back. The military has tried everything to kill this monster. However, all these attacks did not make it stop at all. The military made this monster fall due to a bomb explosion, but it got back up and counterattacked all the military troops. Previously, it had eaten around seven nuclear reactors around the city. That's a lot of radiation. Going to do now that the monster direction is turning back towards New York again. It looks like it's from the Cloverfield, but from the Cloverfield. Oh, I really like that. I really like the white on that. <laughs> Why is everybody coughing, bro? Oh. Oh, Atomic Breath. That looks like a Godzilla Ultimate with Atomic Breath. The effects are really good. Double mouths? That is sick. It's like a little Heisei thing, but instead of like double teeth, there's double jaws. Oh my gosh. Oh. That- that is scary. Oh my- just- it just turns its head and looks at you like that. I still remember you. The attack by this large creature claimed hundreds of that people That is dismayed. scary. It was reported that hundreds of other people disappeared the and were taken to hospital. Meanwhile, the creature has returned to the North Atlantic Ocean eating dozens of nuclear reactors in the U.S. Meanwhile, the creature has returned to the after the creature attacked us and killed hundreds of people that day we start to dig up information about that monster gojira this is possibly the same creature that we found in the north atlantic <laughs> the origins of it however looking at the radiation waste it consumes under the sea it seems to suggest that this creature did not come to land to kill humans Just but tender, it is to consume nuclear. the nuclear reactors in the vicinity this creature seems to be able to detect the presence of a nuclear reactor, eat it, and then return so to the ocean. So there is sense radiation in the air, I but guess. But why eat a nuclear cool. reactor? This creature seems to have mutated due to nuclear waste that is around it. I wonder if if it this is like a prehistoric dinosaur that got mutated, or it's just like a regular old fish that got mutated and turned into Godzilla. But we can't let it go. Over time, the creature can become bigger, bigger, and bigger, and will get stronger. We are still trying exactly to find like Shin out Godzilla. its origins and like how to defeat Shin this Godzilla. creature. However, we are sure. In the future, this creature will come back to land to hunt for nuclear reactors. Just be prepared and stay safe. Oh. Every single channel that was featured in this video will be linked in the description below if you guys want to check out the original channels. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!